Hello there, good evening. As we head towards the New Year's celebrations, I'm afraid it's a very unsettled forecast ahead. Multiple Met Office warnings in force, including an amber warning issued for New Year's Eve for rain across parts of Scotland. So do take care if you're travelling around for any festivities. And as we head into this evening, we'll see those outbreaks of rain push their way into parts of Scotland, falling as snow mainly across hills, but also to lower levels too, mainly across northern parts of Scotland. And where we do see those outbreaks of rain turning rather heavy and persistent at times where we do see that amber warning issued across parts of Scotland and then through the early hours of the morning we'll start to see that heavy rain start to creep into parts of Northern Ireland too but across much of England and Wales a dry night on offer plenty of cloud around though that is going to keep temperatures up but a chilly start across northern parts of Scotland where we do see that snowfall. And then for New Year's Eve itself, an unsettled day ahead for many of us. Plenty of blustery winds across the far north. We could see gusts of around 60, maybe even 70 miles per hour across parts of northern England as those outbreaks of rain move through. They will eventually clear parts of Scotland, but plenty of blustery showers here. Once again, these could be heavy at times and falling as snow at times too, particularly across the far north of Scotland. Shetland, for example, seeing multiple snow showers. Temperatures up by a degree or two, particularly across northern parts of Scotland, but often feeling rather chilly under those cloudier skies. Through into the evening, we'll see these outbreaks of rain slowly shift their way further across parts of England, uh, parts of England and Wales. Though it does generally stall across northern parts of Wales, northern parts of England, for midnight itself. If you are out celebrating New Year's Eve, and across the far north, once again, plenty of showers. These merging into longer spells of rain at times too. And once again, we could see some snow, and we do have a risk of ice also for northern parts of Scotland. But across the south, once again, largely dry, though plenty of cloud around as we head towards the new year. Then through the early hours, once again, those outbreaks of rain still continuing across northern parts of Wales, parts of northern parts of England and central parts too. Once again, this rather heavy and persistent at times, still those showers continuing across the far north and slightly milder across the south where we see those cloudier skies linger on, but turning very chilly indeed across the far north of Scotland as we start to introduce a brisk northerly flow here. And then for New Year's Day itself, once again, outbreaks of rain, these slowly edging towards the south and southeast, still heavy and persistent at times. And to the north of this, it is going to be turning very cold. So if we see any blustery showers moving through, these likely falling as snow across hilly areas and very blustery amongst these showers too. So feeling very cold in the wind. But across the far south, milder, yes, but it is going to be a wet afternoon on offer for the new year. So as we head into next week, once again, this cold northerly flow that will slowly shift its way towards much of the country. So we'll start to see more sunshine for the end of the week. Yes, but plenty of sunshine. These likely falling as snow and it is going to be feeling cold, particularly in those brisk northerly winds. But of course, for more updates on that, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel and then you'll never miss any updates. Bye bye.